Hi boys and girls, good afternoon. I finally have some time to do my read aloud for today since the baby is down for his nap. So, the last few read alouds that I've done have all been fiction stories. So today we are going to read a nonfiction story. Uh, parents, I'm going to apologize in advance. There might, this might get a little rowdy. Um, here's the deal, there's one rule. You are not allowed to laugh, okay? No laughing. If you laugh, I'm gonna stop reading, okay? So, you're not allowed to laugh at all the whole time I'm reading this. No matter if you hear a word you think might be funny, you cannot laugh, okay? So, we all like animals, and so we're gonna read a story about some animals, okay? And the title of today's story is, Whose Butt? Hey, stop laughing. No laughing, that was the only rule. Whose Butt? Okay, so this story is by a man named Stan Tequila. No, Tequila, I don't know. I don't know how to say his last name. Anyway, there he is. So, the story is Whose Butt? It's about butts. It is. Just telling you that right now. Okay, so, and it's got some really great photographs. Okay, if I could turn the pages, that would be great. So here's a little bit about the author, okay? It says, it's the photographer. I love taking pictures of animals, but it's not always easy. Sometimes the animals run or fly away. When this happens, I only get pictures of their butts. But can you name the animals I tried to take pictures of? Here, I'm gonna take off this. That will probably make it a little bit easier. So there's Stan, okay, trying to take some pictures. So here's our first picture, guys. Okay, this may look like an ordinary animal butt, but watch what happens when it dashes away. Whose butt is this? What do you think? It's a deer. And then I'll read some information about it. When a white-tailed deer senses danger, its tail shoots up in the air, boing! The white on the underside of a deer's tail is like a warning flag. It tells other deer that danger is near. So run, run, run away quick. There he is. You guys ready for another butt? With a long shaggy tail, it looks like a dog's butt, but you wouldn't want to pet this behind. Whose butt is this? What do you think? It's a wolf. A gray wolf can communicate with its tail. To tell other wolves that it's the leader of the pack, a wolf holds its tail up high. A frightened wolf puts its tail between its legs. An excited wolf might wag its tail. I wouldn't want to pet that one, would you? Ooh, oh, almost gave it away. This funny, there's a funny shaped tail on this butt, but you'll be surprised what a flat tail can do. Whose butt is this? My red group should know this one. We read a story about it. It's a beaver. An American beaver has a wide flat tail that makes it waddle when it walks, but its tail is very helpful. A beaver uses its tail to steer while swimming. Also, one slap of its tail on the water, whack, will let the other beavers know that danger is near. It's very helpful. It's white and fluffy like a bunny's butt, but this rump can run incredibly fast. Whose butt is this? Ooh, I don't know. It's a pronghorn. Pronghorns are the fastest land animals in North America. They can zip across the prairie at 70 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car. Vroom! If you glimpse one of these speedsters, you may only see, see its white fluffy behind as it races away. So that's a pronghorn. 
This critter raised the tail on its butt, but don't get too close to find out why. Whose butt is this? My son, Emmerich, keeps coming in to find out. It's a skunk. A striped skunk has a stinky way of protecting itself. When it feels threatened, a skunk will spin around and raise its tail. Other animals had better stay away or they'll get sprayed. A skunk shoots a smelly, oily substance out of its rear. Phew! Some of you may have smelled this before. If you've ever, uh, if your dog has ever gotten sprayed by a skunk, hopefully you've never gotten sprayed by a skunk. This critter may have a cute fuzzy butt, but it's part of a powerful digging machine. Whose butt is this? What do you think? It's a badger. Growly and snarly American badgers have short, powerful legs. Their bodies are built for burrowing. When they dig a hole, you'll quickly see their rumps disappearing behind a pile of dirt. Badgers spend more time underground than above. This animal likes to show off its butt, but there's a reason it shakes its tail feathers. Whose butt is this? Don't touch the table. Sorry, my son keeps coming in. It's a grouse. Dusky grouse have plain looking tail feathers, but when they fan out their tails, wow, a boy grouse struts about and dances. He shakes his tail feathers to show off for the girl grouse. That sure is a large and fuzzy butt, but all that fur is useful when it's cold. Whose butt is this? It's a bear. A black bear is covered in fur from its head to its rump. A bear's soft under fur keeps it warm during cold months. Its rough outer fur protects the bear from bug bites. A bear's fur also repels water. After a dunk in a river, a bear shakes off like a dog to dry off. Okay. These animals have striped tails on their butts, but what are these critters looking at? Whose butts are these? So now you got two butts. They're raccoons. Some of you might have seen these. Northern raccoons are nocturnal, meaning they come out mostly at night. They have dark masks across their faces and dark rings around their tails. These markings help them hide in the shadows at night as they look for food. This tiny critter has a twitchy butt, but there's a reason it flutters about. Whose butt is this? It's a chickadee. Black capped chickadees' twitchy tails help them dart about as they feed. During winter, small birds, like chickadees, struggle to stay warm, so they need to be quick when searching for food. Zip! Food gives them the energy to stay warm. So there's that chickadee. Chickadee is the main, uh, Maine's official state bird. And here we go. We've got all the different animal facts that you can learn about and a little bit more about the author. So that's our book for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you better not have laughed or you're gonna be in big trouble. Just kidding. This is a fun book and hopefully you learned something about some of the animals and how important um, their tails and feathers and everything else that they have on their rear ends can be. So I love you guys. I'll have another story for you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day and um, enjoy yourselves and be safe. And Emrek says goodbye as well.